George Flory, protester besieged U.S. embassies in Abuja, vowed to defend black life if killing are not cop. This morning, besieged the United States of America embassy located in the central business district of Abuja to express their displeasure over the recent and barbaric killing of George Floyd and several other black persons in the United States. The protest under the aegis of the Center for African Liberation and Social Economic Rights, CASA, said the gathering is not only for the display of physical range and a result of the indiscrimination killing of black people in the United States of America by agents of the state, but a display of emotional and mental range. Although I am very, very annoyed as a result of the indiscriminate killing of black people in the United States of America by agents of the state, it is instead a display of emotional and mental rage because we would no longer watch how our brothers and sisters are subjected to all manners of ill treatment by law enforcement officers in the United States of America. The death is not funny. It is not funny. The death of George Floyd is an act of barbarism that is being spearheaded by the white supremacists. Again, I keep saying there's nothing like white. He's either pink or red neck in the United States of America because black lives, brown colored people, their lives, our lives matter. But we say black lives indeed must matter. The, the group said it will no longer watch how its brothers and sisters to be subjected to all manners of ill treatment by law enforcement officers in the United States of America. Led by its convener, Princess Ajibola Kasa, said the death of George Floyd is an account of barbaric that is being spearheaded by the white supernatural in the United States of America because black life does not mean anything to them. The death is not funny. It is not funny. The death of George Floyd is an act of barbarism that is being spearheaded by the white supremacists. Again, I keep saying there's nothing like white. He's either pink or red neck in the United States of America. Because See, black life indeed matter, the group said. Princess Ajibola said the Center for African Liberations and Social Economic Rights have its numerous forums stated that it, it is indeed time for the black and Africa to take their destiny into their hands if it must survive the funds of the white. Our black brothers and, and sisters in America, Oprah Winfrey, Steve Harvey, uh, Tyler Perry, uh, Dan, Dion Warwick and the rest. Martin Luther King paid the minimum, a maximum price for them to be what they think they are today. As a black person, you can never really amount to anything. So if they are going to keep silent over this matter, if they are not going to come out as we are coming out in Africa, tomorrow South Africa is marching. Day after tomorrow, Ghana is marching. One black life is more, is an equal to, is equal to 10 rednecks. If they are not going to come out because they are so afraid, they cannot say what they, that needs to be said, we are going to speak for them.